Folks, my name is Mary Kelly of Productive Leaders, and today I am beyond honored to have the amazing Beth Z, your nerdy best friend, my nerdy best friend, with me today. She is coming to us from Tennessee, one of my favorite all-time states, mostly because of the bourbon and the fact that her cats will occasionally make kitty cameos wandering back and forth in the door. It's, it's like the deer path. It's fantastic. And I am so excited that she is joining us today because right now, um, she, oh, you're screen sharing now? Um, oh, no. So I'm, no. I'm gonna Would you like for me to not screen share now? I will yeah, I'm going to screen share first and give you a really good introduction. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I well, want to do that. stop me. Um, um, so I'm going to. And um, so then, so see, I was trying to give you this big introduction and then I got totally distracted. Uh, so there's that. So I'm going to share my stuff and uh, there's that. So anyway, so Beth Z is your nerdy best friend and mine. What she does is she helps people figure out solutions to tech problems. And right now we all as leaders have to, uh, we have to make sure that our people are as well equipped as possible to uh, help their people get through these difficult times, but also we've got to be, can you see my screen okay? Finally? No. Um, it's, it's frozen in a half unzoomed zoom. <laughs> How is that? It was kind of cool looking. It's uh, kind of cool looking, but uh, that's okay. It's fine. Um, let's try this again, because at first we don't succeed. We will try, try again. Oh, and look there at we that. go. There we go. Beautiful. So the idea, folks, is right now people need Leaders need right now technology and people solutions. And this is what everybody is worried about. All my leaders are worried about right now, how can I better engage my people, especially when many of my people are suddenly working from home. And by the way, there's a great Facebook page. What's it called, Beth? The Unexpected Telecommuters? Yes. And what, what a wonderful plug. What a wonderful plug. And it was created by who exactly whom? Uh, a nerd we both know. A nerd we both know, yes, it's the Unexpected Telecommuters that talks about the challenges of suddenly being a telecommuter. And most of you are already awesome, awesome leaders. You wouldn't be here if you weren't already an awesome leader. Some people are just trying to fill those leadership gaps in your organization. So can we actually improve? We think we can. And can we actually improve our corporate work culture, our, our work better together, and how can we create better value? So right now, we know that we're all trying to pivot. We're all trying to figure out what's most important. We've got to identify what we need to do for not only us to move forward, but also to help our people move forward. So in my analysis, I'm coming out with a white paper here in about another two and a half weeks. We know that the industries that will come out strong are those solid industries that everyone needs all the time. Things that were nice to have might be struggling. Those luxury items might be struggling, but the necessities we know we need. Strong businesses with good, solid financial foundations, good fiscal foundations. Before all this happened, four or five months ago, only 25% of all of the world's industry or businesses had more cash than debt. So that to me is very problematic, especially as we're coming off of a 10 year economic run that is unprecedented. So we as organizations know we have to be very agile. We have to respond very quickly to the changing needs of not only our employees, but also our customers, our clients, and everybody else. So right now we know that leaders today have to know more, we have to plan more, we have to be comfortable with chaos and change, and we have to make it easier for all of our people to do all these things. And this means we need more technology that is going to give us innovative ideas, adaptability, good action, and create the opportunities we need. So I put these in five buckets, and this is technology, our people, process or processes, resources, and training, and training at all levels. And that's not just training our customers on how to be customers going in the future, but it's also our people. So today, I'm wildly excited to be bringing uh, Beth in to talk about the technology piece. So when I talk about technology, for most of us, we've got these tools that if we're going to move forward, we need something. What do we need? Who do we contact for advice? And what do we need to learn how to use? We also need to have the training on what it is we need to do. And this is, again, where Beth is so beyond valuable because maybe we need to take a quick course on how to do something. Maybe we need to contact someone for advice, especially around technology or new products or new systems. Or maybe we need to read something or look something up. And then we've got to just focus on the technology and how that is going to make our life better. For some of us, 
it needs to be invented. Maybe it hasn't even been invented yet. We've got to figure out the solution. How do we find it if it currently exists? And then what can we simplify and automate so that our systems, our people, and everybody is working better together? So this is where we are right now. The future is with technology. So Beth, you're up. Uh, I don't think I want to be up. That was super. I think everybody like has now uh, a lot of perspective and you've just given me a lot of things I need to go think about as always. Thank you, Mary. All right. But I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen, give you all a few ideas. And these are just a few ideas. I got a million of them and we're going to go through them fairly quickly, but I put together some things that I think based on, especially based on what Mary just told us, some things that we will need to consider as we go forward. Now, Mary, I'm going to ask you, is my, is my uh, screen up there okay? Yeah, it looks really good. Okay. Yep. It has four words. That's all I ask. All right. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Text the word nerd to 66866. I'll put this at the end. You don't need to do it now. I broke this up into several categories of things we can do better with technology. We're all about being leaders here. You're all about taking your company, showing your leadership right now, taking your company, taking your colleagues to a different place, and you can use technology to do it. So all of these things I'm talking about are, are things we're already doing, but now we're going to do them better. Listening better is one of my favorite categories right now because the technology is insane. And my most insane, in fact, on January 1st, I think I declared Otter my favorite app of the year. Um, I used to like a different one, but Otter now has pulled ahead of everybody in the world and watch what Otter does. So I'm on the Otter website. It's also an app on the phone. Right now, you see it's hooked up into my calendar, so it says technology tools for leaders. I'm going to click on that button. And now I'm going to start talking. What, is go what it is going to do is immediately transcribe everything that I'm saying. So I am speaking right now. I'm not even looking at the screen, but more than likely, it is getting almost every word or every word. Now I'm going to ask Mary C. Kelly. I always call her Mary C. Kelly. It just sounds like gives her the reverence that she deserves. Dr. Mary C. Kelly, if you prefer. Um, I'm going to ask Mary C. Kelly to come back on and talk to me for a second. Uh, Mary C. Kelly, what is the weather like where you are today? It's clear to partly cloudy, and we have a low this morning of 34 degrees, but a high expected of 77, and I currently have two doggy business managers sleeping next to me. That's pretty impressive for Otter to get that right. It is pretty impressive because it is coming through your speaker to my speaker and then being listened to from the computer. I tell you folks, this has revolutionized my note-taking capabilities. People call me all the time and they say, hey, let's talk about a webinar we want you to do for our, our uh, company or some training or what have you. Instead of me trying to take notes, I turn on Otter, I put us on speakerphone and I just start talking. And then when I'm done, what happens is as soon as I turn this off, it's going to use artificial intelligence to go back in and clean it up. Mary spoke at one point, it's going to identify the different people in the calls. If you have put a voice print in here, it'll identify you as you. It will also, if you've invited people, it'll send out a copy to everybody so everybody has this. And then when you go back into it, and my assistant goes back into it, she can go to just scan the notes, and then it looks like uh, here's where we're talking, you know, the details of what I'll be doing and how much, uh, when the proposal is due and all these different things. She will just go through, find that, and then start playing because watch. I'm going to stop recording right there. And then it stores it for you as well, right? Yes, it stores it for you. So this one was Kansas Realtors. Uh, this was somebody I spoke to yesterday. And here is me. It's already identified me. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you so much. I have, by the way, uh, 
Um, is it okay if I record this meeting? Because I'm taking notes and it's easier that way. So you see, I always ask permission, by the way, but you see that it follows along with the transcript and keeps everything together. And it is fantastic for taking notes, for keeping track of what's going on. <laughs> I have to show y'all, um, where is my piece of paper? Yesterday, uh, oh, Mary, I, I don't have the piece of paper. It's classic. No, the napkin, the napkin you sent, you texted it to me. The napkin picture. Yes, I will hold it up on my phone. Yesterday, uh, or a couple of days ago, Mary Kelly and I were talking about this session. And she's like, oh, please make a note and talk about that. And here is literally what I did. This is a napkin that I had had my lunch on and I wrote the word recording and a doodle with that note. And that was my note because I wasn't using Otter. I use Otter for everything. I can actually remember one time, uh, Mary C. Kelly and I went out to lunch. We were having a conversation about ways we could collaborate. I started recording that conversation and I still have it somewhere. Um, it's, I ate a lot during that, so I'm not sure I actually said anything on it, but. I think I promised you a kidney, right? <laughs> I think so. That was yeah. the one. That was so it, yeah. It, it changes the way, changes the way we are working. Now, let me tell you about some things that are happening with Otter. And um, it was funny, we were talking about, uh, we were talking together about technology and how much it's changing. Otter has collaborated with Zoom, and there are a couple of things it's doing. Number one, if you have a certain level of Zoom um, ownership, right? So not the free level, but maybe the pro level, maybe the enterprise level. Mary and I both have the enterprise level through our organization, through the National Speakers Association, but your company may have different levels. And it's changing every moment. But Zoom and Otter have collaborated that not only when this conversation is finished, it's being stored in the cloud, and I'm guessing she's doing this. Yes. It will be transcribed using Otter. And now, Otter, I haven't done it well on mine yet, and Mary hasn't done it on hers yet either. Otter will also do live closed captioning during your Zoom meetings right now. You have to connect the APIs and do a couple of little things and put a couple of little codes and do all these little things. But it just happened that real-time closed captioning on your PowerPoints or on your uh, Zoom calls can happen with Otter right now. I don't know which version they're giving this away on. It's very confusing and it keeps changing. Mm -hmm. Don't want to use Otter? That's okay. There are a couple of other options. Look at Google Docs. This is a trick. Watch this. Watch this. All you have to do is type um, doc dot new. Doc dot dot new. Okay. On uh, a browser. And guess what? Google owns everything. So it will start a Google Doc for you immediately. But inside Google Docs and inside Microsoft, you also have the ability to do voice typing. Mm -hmm. And it is also fairly accurate. So here I am typing and it is transcribing. So you have this ability as well if you just want to take notes this way. But up your game right now and take notes electronically so that you can make sure you as a leader don't miss these certain details. Technology can help you fill in those gaps. Such a oh, great idea. And then, you can, then you can copy those notes into... A, uh, a client proposal, you can send them back an email and say, just to recap our meeting. And then you look like a rock star. You look um, like a rock star. Yep. And you get things right and you capture their words. That's amazing. And you also are helping out with uh, some people who learn differently than you do and may need those words rather than the other just people talking at them. All right. I love that because so many people are so distracted right now, Beth, that they are having a little bit of, of trouble I'm being sorry. distracted. I'm sorry, Were you, what? Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> sorry, folks, that was too easy. All right. Mm -hmm. Speaking of focusing, I, I want to talk to you about focusing better. And I know that I, Mary C. Kelly, I'm pretty sure you did a session on focus, right? Yes. 
Yeah. So yes. if y'all haven't seen all of her stuff, go see all of her stuff because she's giving it away all for free and it's worth cabillions of dollars. So this is great. But here are my, a couple of tech takes that I add to the, to the stuff about focusing better. Distraction management. It's averaging that we pick up our phones um, 150 to 200 and some odd times a day. Let me ask, how far away is your phone right now? Is it right here? Yes, right it is. Right in my hand, right in my it's, hand. All of this is right here. How many tabs do y'all have open? I am fascinating and I am giving you information you're never going to get anywhere else, but I bet 75,000 other things are happening in your life right this second. So I'm going to give you a couple of my favorite tools for distraction management for, so that we as leaders can just block out all the crapola and get stuff done. The first one that I like, it's called stay, uh, stay focused with no E after the D, right? So I have a problem. I really do. I am addicted to the news. Uh, I go, it's unconscious, 100%. I go to news google.com and I read the headlines and then I click through and I click through and it's just if I have a spare moment and I get distracted I can get in here and I have trouble getting out so stay focused is a chrome plug-in it's on the top over here it's this little eye looking thing when I click on stay focused I can block this entire site for a certain period of time every day so when I click block this entire site it now will give me 10 minutes on this site and others that I blocked, a total of 10 minutes. So now not only am I reminding myself that it's blocked, but I'm also limiting that problem I'm having. Let me go in here. It's really funny. So let me go into the settings. Maximum time allowed per day on the on sites on the block list, right? So let's say, oh, you know what, Beth, you're allowed to go 15 minutes instead of um, just 10. And you click set. And then it says, you're trying to give yourself more time. You sure that's a good idea? Maybe you should reconsider. And I'm like, okay, I want to do it anyway. And then it says, seriously, dude, the whole point of this extension is to stop you from procrastinating. You're only hurting <laughs> yourself and the kitten that gets an electric shock every time you click okay. Are that's you sure hilarious. You with yourself? That yeah. is hilarious. And every time I've gone back to cancel, but it lets you do very specific things at very specific times. And it's not about willpower. It's about habit. Mm -hmm. I check that news site 50 times a day, I bet you, if I don't have something conscientiously saying, hey, you're not allowed to go there. And it's only going to do it when I'm on that page, right? So right now it's red and it's at 940. Now I've been talking to you guys, you folks for more than nine minutes, 40 seconds, but it's 940 right there. So I'm going to turn it off. And now this one is not blocked, but I could block that site too. And now it's, I still have nine minutes and 33 seconds to obsess. If you have a trouble, if you have your trouble with um, social media, now I can't block out my social media because it's my work as well. <laughs> See, I have to post cat videos. That's what I do. But other people, if you are having problems with that, you can block these things out. This is a tool that you are not going to like, but you need it. It's called rescue time. And there's a couple of reasons for this. First off, of course, you're going to check with your IT department and find out they already may have some of these kind of things on your computer to discover where you are, but um, you're always going to want to check with people before you install these things when you're working for a company. But what Rescue Time does is monitors every single site you visit and every single thing you do on your computer, every single thing. Now, the first thing it does is humiliates you because even though you were looking at Kim Kardashian's shoes, ironically, you were still looking, you still spent 42 minutes looking at Kim Kardashian's shoe pictures. I don't, I don't even know if she has shoe pictures, but you were there doing something dumb and you weren't even doing it because you really were interested. It was just like something you got into and you wasted time. So it's going to show you those things, but it's going to do much more than that. One of the challenges that you have is that you don't know how long things actually are going to take you. The other day I was doing a, uh, a project and I had 
60 books, 60 packages that I had to ship out and I had to put labels on them and put them in bags, get the labels on them, things like that. I was like, oh, this is going to take me half an hour. No, it didn't. It took me an hour and a half. And the reason I know that is because I was using this kind of tool to track my time. So I had assumed that this was something I could just knock off and then get real work done. But no, it turned into a real time commitment. This is something you need to know. As you plan your day, as you try to move forward and try to be a leader in your group, get a solid sense of how long tasks take you and communicate that information to people up the chain. So someone says, hey, could you just put together that expense report for me real quick? I'm sure it'll only take you 15 minutes. And you're like, no, that's an hour and a half job. You can ask Mary C. Kelly about newsletters. Newsletters is like, oh, I got to get out a newsletter. It takes, I used to think it should be pretty easy, right? It takes me between three hours and eight hours per newsletter. Same, same, same with this, me. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's exactly the same with me um, in terms of the newsletter. Also, because you made me up my game on the newsletter. So now instead of taking two hours with an article that's very boring, now it takes me between three and eight hours. Thank you, Beth. But wait, let me go back to the book package thing for a second. So you sent out 60 book packages and this is the, your new book, right? <laughs> She's good, isn't she? <laughs> She's so good. Why, yes, it is. And this is the bigger book of apps, which follows on the book of apps, which was the orange cover. And how many apps do we cover in the bigger book of apps? 560 some odd apps. And these are things that make people's lives easier, like the Otter AI and other programs that you use all the time. Absolutely. Okay, it so is available for a big discount because I have a garage full. Let me know. All right. Boom. Okay. So real quickly, um, before we get too far, there was a question about the Google voice AI and whether or not um, Christine asked, she said that that's problematic on her iPhone eight. Um, but do you think it works better on the computer? Perhaps? I don't know. So for, uh, for this, which one? That one, the, that one, the Google doc voice. The, it, all kinds of factors go into where it's going to be problematic. And it has to do with the quality of your sound, the quality of your internet, the quality of the hardware you're using to access it. Okay. All of those things go into it. So if you are having problems, I can't really isolate exactly where the problems are. Mm -hmm. I would just say it's in one of those categories. Going back to Otter though, you can record yourself on Otter. Mm -hmm. And then, or you can record yourself and upload it to Otter as audio and it mm -hmm. will transcribe it for you from there. Guess cool. what? I forgot to mention Otter is free, free for 600 minutes a month. That's crazy. That is 10 one hour meetings. If you are having 10 one hour meetings a month, uh, get a different job. Yeah. That sounds um, horrible. So Chris wants to know, does it link with Microsoft Teams? Does Otter link with Microsoft Teams? Google Docs. No, Google Docs. Uh, Does Google, Google Doc Docs. Work. So Microsoft also has this capability. Okay. All right. Great. I think that answers that. Cool. Okay. Um, back, to, back to you. Sorry about the interruption. Oh, no. That's why I'm here. Uh, all right. So I will move on to this next one. Y'all are going to have some bonus stuff. Um, but let me talk about agenda management. This is brand new, brand new. They just launched their full setup. It's called, uh, oh, look, you reach this page via a block site. So the time you spend here is being deducted, but that was from another one. So it's okay. Cause sometimes stay connect or stay focused. Like if you click through to something, it will still be counting against you. And all of a sudden you run out of your time and then it yells at you and you're very sad, but that's not the case here. So I'm just going to refresh it. So this is a brand new site. It's called Adam.ai. Watch what happens. I'm going to click quick meeting. And I can, what do you want to discuss? Tools. And you can put the amount of time you want to discuss it. So the default is 15 minutes. You can put all the notes in here. You can actually, they, you can add the audio file. They are not recording yet in here but soon they will have this so you can record inside here and keep it synchronized. 
Now, I don't know if it's going to be transcribed or through Otter because it's brand new. Decisions you need to make, files you're sharing. You can have people sit around the table so you're kind of more at a meeting type setup. You do meeting minutes automatically once you have all these things filled in and everybody gets updated all the time. Y'all, right now this is 100% free. It just announced that it is integrating into Microsoft Teams. That was a big notice that came this morning. And <laughs> it's incredibly, incredibly helpful. It also will, will work around projects, right? So you can do regular meetings or you can have a project and plan all the meetings and the collaboration inside of there. So when you have a meeting with this, everybody logs into this or do you just do a screen share and do everything all at once? You would invite people to this. And so everybody can be taking their notes and seeing what's on the agenda, going through. They can vote together, right? So you can have um, whatever you need to vote on and all the people in the room can vote. It's, it's really cool. It does everything that you would need to do in a regular meeting, but it organizes it and then it puts those uh, action items and it gets those voting and it gets the decisions on the agenda all in one place rather than you being the one who sent out a summary email with every, to everybody about what you're going to talk about and then you being the one to take notes and send out the summary again in email to everybody who was there. This automates all that and puts it all together so it's easily accessible and can keep you organized. And does it send everybody an email with everything or can you do that with this? Yes, so when you have the members in here, they will be able to get the notes, see what's there. I'm pretty sure you can control what they're able to see and then you can have people add agenda items as well, but somebody's gonna be the boss person. <laughs> I don't have anybody, it's just me and my assistant. So when I have a bunch of people to have a meeting with, boy, howdy, I will try out all of the granular things, but for right now, I just get on there and play and pretend to have friends. Yeah. <laughs> See, I think this would be really awesome, especially if you're talking to a client and trying to get, trying to get them organized. And then you look, again, you look like a hero. I love this idea. Yes, you looking like a hero is huge. All right. We're going to go into organize better, get your ducks in a row. Ready? Organize better. Ducks, right. ducks. Let me check with Mary C. Kelly though. It is. You just keep, minutes. you just keep going. People will drop off if they feel like it. Um, we just don't worry about time. All right. So I'm going to talk through a couple of these areas and I just want to put my ducks in a row. Well, my duck. All right. So let's talk about organizing better. Um, sharing documents and info. So Right now, I want you to make sure you have in your world a system to share documents and the information that you were sharing by walking around an office reliably and safely. So some of your options are Google Docs, right? We've been using those for a long time. Google Drive, fantastic for collaboration. We can all be in the same Google Doc and writing things. We can all be looking at it. We don't have the interaction inside Google Docs like we do um, if we're sharing a whiteboard or a document in um, uh, Zoom, but we have that. Are you using Dropbox or Draw or Box? There are all kinds of things there. Now, let's go to passwords. Some of y'all are having trouble because the company password was on a sticky note on the company computer and you're not there. <laughs> Oops. So LastPass is a tool that will let you save your own passwords, but more importantly in this time of remote needs, it will let you share passwords with the rest of your team without actually having to throw that password into an email. You, everybody has LastPass, the free version is fine. You share it, they accept it, and then they can get into the systems that you share and you have to work together. You need to have that kind of capability. Let's talk about just sharing info. It used to be when we were together, you could walk over to somebody's desk and point at the screen and say, this is what it is. You can't do that anymore. Do you have a really good tool to walk people through things? My favorite is Snagit. There's Screencastify, there's Snagit. Um, I can't really, it's hard for me to actually show 
how these work. Let me see if I can do it. Um, let's say video capture, because sometimes it's going to mess up while I'm doing the other thing and doing the other thing. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? All the time. Yeah. I, I have that thing when I do that thing that I do with the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just, it gets a little too meta for Zoom and all the layers of recording. But right now I am recording my screen. So if I wanted to tell people, hey, watch this. Uh, if I wanted to tell people how to use subtitles in a PowerPoint, I could say you come up here to slideshow, click always use subtitles, and then you play the presentation. It is still recording my screen. And then now when I'm talking, do you see the subtitles? Do you see them? Do you see them? They are happening in real time in PowerPoint because PowerPoint now has subtitles and can have translation and uh, as well. But uh, if I wanted to show somebody how to do that, I can record my screen like I just did here and point to and show people how to do things with a tool like Snagit. So in a matter of seconds, I created a document that let me share this. I didn't capture the actual top, but it let me share it. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and undo the captioning because for me, it's too much of a distraction because I'm always saying, oh, did it translate me wrong? All right. And uh, Mary C. Kelly also talked about automations and this is really critical so if you are using if you're trying to automate things as you're sharing information gathering information putting things together i recommend you try a tool called i call it if ta it's if this then that and it's a multi-app automator that lets you make tiny little recipes so for example if you are using dropbox what kind of things can you do with dropbox to automate things if a new tweet happens then save it in a spreadsheet. So automatically sync new files from Dropbox to Google Drive. All of these things are happening in my world automatically. Save your new Instagram photos into Dropbox. Save your tagged photos from Facebook into Dropbox. All these things are easily, easily connected because I've set up all these automations. All right. Okay, how? How does that work? Uh, I think that's the phone. Yes, your phone's actually ringing. I, uh, I am so sorry, but not really, because if you see right there, it's if the ta -ta calling me, because I pushed a button on my watch that said, it says, pretend this, this is a real call and get yourself out of this meeting, because <laughs> see, I pressed a button on my watch that said, get me out of this meeting. And then 30 seconds later, the phone rings and I'm like, oh, I have to take this and get off this video call. That's what a leader does is manages time management, that kind of thing. Um, how does this work? It's, it's kind of, it takes a while. Do, maybe we should do another presentation to go over it. But basically you're gonna hook up your Dropbox with your Facebook and hook them up inside if -ta -ta -ta, and then push a button that says, hook those two up and make it happen. Okay, we'll do another program just on that. Okay. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I've done some programs on that. It's pretty, pretty interesting. All right, so we do have, uh, I do have another section, but I think we'll save that for another day, except I'm gonna give you some tips about Zoom, because here we are. Y'all get this with the text the word nerd to 66866. So y'all gonna get the whole thing but I'm giving you some tips about Zoom. Let me tell you about Zoom recordings because that's one thing that Mary said on my little napkin that we needed to talk about. Um, Zoom recordings are a challenge. When it's recording to the cloud or even when it's recording on your computer, all kinds of factors are gonna be in playing because the software is running in the cloud. So your hardware, your software, and 
your connection are all going to be factors and everybody else's connections. So when you're recording on Zoom, recognize that there's going to be problems with the synchronization. There's going to be problems sometimes with the audio. Mary, when you were talking, there were some problems with your synchronization and then your screen got locked a couple of times. It's just what's going to happen. So in order to make sure that when you're doing a presentation, if you're recording it, I always remember a few minutes ago, I showed you Snagit. Snagit was that one where I can share a portion of the screen and say, you know, look at what's happening right here on the screen. Let me show you how to do something. So I would record this whole thing in either Camtasia, which is Snagit's big brother or Snagit so that I would have a better copy stored locally and it would not have the problems but when you are recording to the cloud with zoom you have all kinds of options you're going to have the main speaker view you're going to have the slides view and the sh screen share view you're going to have the view of the audience you're going to have the audio by itself and you're going to have this tr transcription by itself now again i know it's not in the free version but i'm not sure how far it goes up into pro versus enterprise, but you've got lots of capabilities there. It's really nice. Uh, so I wanted to mention that for everyone. And then I just want to make sure that we answer some questions. So does anybody have any questions? We did have a question. So Judith is very excited about the seminar on if da 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 da. Um, so I think we will do that if that works for you. And thank you so much. Um, Dr. Natalie Sanders, who's one of my favorite people all times, um, she, okay, so Dr. Natalie is a hospice doctor by day and a wine rep by night. She's like the coolest person ever, and you know how I feel about wine. Um, she says, can you please repeat the name of the agenda management app? Yes. And it is. Uh, that's Adam, right? Adam.ai. Adam.ai. Okay, fantastic. And um, Christine says that's a great way to manage things. Uh, by the way, Cheryl Bindlegrass, thank you so much for joining us. She says she keeps a uh, best book on her desk. Um, also not my book on her desk, but you know, there's that. Um, I, I realize I play second fiddle to you. Um, and then uh, there was a quick, <laughs> oh, nicely done, my friend. <laughs> I actually have both the paperback and the hardback on this desk right in front of me, nice. but I'm afraid it's going to collapse. I've got nail polish and other and yeah. other things. Yes. I got them. I got it all. Nice. Oh, well done. Well done. Um, Judith said, uh, uh, said you also had talked about forest and uh, focus at will. Um, can you just touch on that real quick? Yes. So Forest is, is the most ridiculous app with the best purpose I've ever seen. So okay. you download the Forest app and you set a time period where you want to focus and you don't want to pick up your phone. And so while your phone is sitting there, when you're not supposed to be picking up, a tree grows. And then if you pick up your phone too early, you kill the tree. Oh, God. Like you I killed the tree. guilt in my life. Yes, guilt. And there's one where um, the cat, you know, you're taking care of cats and the cats run away. <gasps> oh, no. oh my yes. God. I lose sleep at night with this app. Yes. All of these are like um, tools that help you just remember and focus. The gamification helps you mm -hmm. trigger that little memory that, hey, I'm not doing that right now because it's so much habit, mm -hmm. so much habit that we go to those places. So forest, you kill a tree and then you're trying to grow a forest and meet all your little goals. And then when you do, they plant a tree for you. No, nice. that's really cool. And I mean, they actually do plant a tree. I'm sorry. They actually do plant a tree. Yes. yes. They don't just virtually plant a tree, which is like make believe a real tree. It's all, it's all green and goofy. Okay. I, I love green and goofy. Okay. Um, uh, Commander um, Claude from Navy, um, by the way, said these are great ideas and apps, but any concerns about data mining, OPSEC? Um, yeah, uh, any thoughts on that? I just think the Chinese and the Russians already have everything, so I don't worry about it, but what Let's do you think? Let's not go negative, huh? <laughs> okay, good Let's plan. Let's keep this right. positive. They have everything. Uh, the, yeah, the, yeah, that's true. I don't want to say they have everything. Um, there's a tool I've been using lately called Jumbo, J-U-M-B-O. Okay. And Jumbo is a, a phone app okay. that will go through and take off Facebook, take off all kinds of information, all kinds of information that 
is automatically being given to Facebook and Twitter and things like that. And you choose the privacy settings and it will monitor them every day. Oh, and really? So this morning, let me see. Um, I was getting notifications this morning. Uh, screen time, <laughs> four hours, eight minutes a day. Whoops. Um, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's during my off time on the road. It's eight hours a day. Uh, Jumbo will tell you, you know, it's taken off um, Facebook ad things, things like that. If the product is free, you are the product. But there are ways to protect yourself beyond that. And that, of course, is a whole other uh, session. Um, Mary, why don't you just go and I'll just take over from here because we got no, more to talk about. No, <laughs> you're good. You just keep going. Um, so uh, I just put somebody asked, was kind enough to ask again where to get Beth's book. So I sent them to your website, which is how to get hold of you. It's yournerdybestfriend.com. Um, you're also sharing some other resources with this group as well, I think. I think you gave yes. us a link. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, text the word nerd to 66866 when mm -hmm. you respond. And uh, you can put in a fake email if you never want to hear from me again. Um, I'm in therapy for rejection. But then when it comes back, you'll have the super secret link that's y'all's. Hey, listen, I'm serious about this. Um, I am doing something insane with my book prices. Write to me at beth at your nerdy best friend .com. I will hand sign one to you for the price it costs me to put it in an envelope and put it in the mail, media mail. And that's if you're a friend of Mary. If friend of Mary discount is, I, I'm not kidding. I'm, 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 I'm getting, you can have one, but you have <laughs> to give me a little bit of money, but not a lot of money. So. Well, shipping and handling and all that stuff. And it's time away from the cats. So there's yes. that. Yep. There's that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, great. So I do want to wrap up. Um, um, three tech tools that you are loving right now before we let everybody go. All right. I'm going to go with Jumbo because it keeps me aware of those privacy issues that I'm not mm -hmm. any time paying attention to. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go back to Zoom because it's so... <gasps> no, 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 no. Take back Zoom. Prezi Video. I did not oh, yeah. show that to y'all today, but it's insane. Now, Prezi video is not working well with Zoom right now. You have to go back to another version, which means there's more security issues, but so don't do that. But Prezi video lets you record something with your slides coming up on this side of you like this in a very professional way, rather than your little head being this big and the slides being this big, like the Zoom recordings end up. Nope. It is your face and your thing with an overlay of the slides. Look at me, look at how happy my arm is. It is fantastic. Prezi video, I am loving right now. And then I'm also loving, um, I'm also loving iMessage. Mm -hmm. If y'all are on, if you have a Mac and you're co corresponding with people who are on iPhones, it is so convenient now because I'm in front of my computer so much more than I used to be on the road to have messages come up on my computer. So that text messaging has been going back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, so someone just wrote, have you heard of Ecamm? Uh, speakers are loving this integration with Zoom. Yes, so uh, there is Ecamm and uh, Manicam and um, there's Snap Face or Snapcam or something like that. There are these third party apps that control your camera. Now Zoom is not playing well with many of those right now. It is cutting off some access, not necessarily because of Zoom is trying so hard to keep up with some of its security issues and some of its performance issues that uh, its integration with other things, it just doesn't care. But GoToMeeting and um, some of the other carriers, I was trying out Prezi video with GoToMeeting today and it worked just fine. It's not gonna work with Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, there are several third parties. Look for Zoom to come back into play with those and they will let you zoom your picture in better, add eyelashes to yourself in some of these cases, um, change your background, do different things that add higher quality. I was gonna talk a lot about, um, oh, it'll work on Zoom if, you're not, if you are not on a PC. Mm. Uh, well, I'm on a Mac and it's not, Zoom's changing things. It doesn't matter what we say today, tomorrow they're gonna change something. If you are on a PC, not Mac. Yes. Right. Yes. 
Okay. Uh, but they're, they are changing things right and left every day. So I can't, tomorrow it's going to be a different allowance, but people love those third party cameras. They give you more control over where you are, your lighting and things like that. I think that's so smart. Beth, as always, just a treasure trove of value today. Um, we will get this recorded, um, uh, chopped, clipped, slightly edited, get it back out to everybody. So Beth, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you're always so much fun. I love any time with you, even if it's virtual. So thanks, folks. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye. Bye, folks.